Hi Libra, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of August the 15th to the 27th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos on YouTube with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card does not pertain to every single person in the universe for every single day of the week. But if you would like clarity, accuracy, and any answers to questions, I invite and welcome you to go to my private website. And that is www.brendataro, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. There I will get back to you as soon as possible to set up a private reading with you. I wish to thank all those new people requesting private readings to me, from me to my circle, and blessings to all my return clients. <coughs> Excuse me. We start our week on Monday, Libra, with the page of water. Water cards are our relationship cards, and this is telling me that there is a new person that's going to enter into your life, and it will be a relationship that will start a new phase in your life. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It can be a friendship uh, relationship as well, and purely platonic. This person will be a little bit younger, and uh, it shows me others of you are tapping into your own psychic abilities now. You're seeing them become more heightened at this time on your path. Tuesday, Earth card, the material card, jobs, careers, uh, professions, how we bring that abundance into our lives. It can have to do with Mother Earth the, and, and, and issues to do with the ecosystem, and it can have to do with our closest circle, which is our family. <clears throat> this is showing me that some of you actually do have a very happy family life, but it also shows me that you have financial security. You have enough. Everything is being covered for you. But they're telling me that this is wonderful, but you need to still find the magic in the little things now as well. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given an air card, the Knight of Air. Air cards have to do with uh, the injustice that comes into our lives and dealing perhaps with legal issues and, and lawyers and court. And it can be anything from matrimonial to property disbursement to real estate, anything like that that you find a little bit challenging right now. But there's something coming into you, like this knight that charges in quickly on his steed. There's an event that will uh, come into you and occur with great speed. You need to take time to carefully receive uh, and and review your options that are coming into you. You will find the solution to this situation because you're extremely creative. On Thursday, you've been given another Earth card. This is the Seven of Earth. This is telling me that some of you have put out a proposal or a proposition of some sort at your place of employment or perhaps a um, some sort of thing you're involved in, some sort of... Uh, program that you may be in. But anyway, you put this out there and know that there may be a temporary pause right now in action. Do not do not worry about this because uh, know that they have received this and uh, that you will uh, hear from them soon because they tell me that these seeds were planted very well. Six of air for Friday. Air cards, you know what that has to do with. We talked about that, legal issues and the injustice and making those fair and just decisions and choices. And some of you have been dealing with that. But know now that things are starting to look up for you and it is the end of that difficult situation. Others I see taking a trip over a large body of water in perhaps a boat. Page of Fire. Fire card for Saturday. Fire cards have to do with setting our creativity and our passion uh, and our those uh, artistic and creative juices into motion and it can have to do with a little bit of risk-taking adventure but it is definitely about self-development there will be some news coming in some exciting news coming in about a new endeavor and when it does you're going to be able to use your own ingenuity and your own originality with this back to back another fire card seven of fire this is telling me that uh, you may be having to step up on your own platform and to defend your own beliefs and your own decisions right now. Uh, stand your ground, but please choose your battles wisely when you do. At the end of the week, I did incorporate this one oracle card, and it is the Ascended Masters, and it is nurture yourself. So this tells me that some of you have been so busy with 
uh, your daily activities and uh, wanting to take care of all situations and people involved around these situations in your life, please know that it's time to step back. You're worthy. You deserve it. You need to nurture yourself. Give yourself some me time, okay? Do whatever it is that nurtures you uh, and you will be more balanced to handle all this multitasking that you have on your plate this week. I wish you a great remainder to today, Libra, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. Happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you. It can only come from you. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of life for you, Libra.